All right, I've got a Bible reading for this evening. It's Psalm 8. And we chose this psalm because it has something to do with God calling us and creating us to care. So first let me read this psalm. So please listen. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. And here's the part I want you to hear. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings? That you are mindful of them? Mortals! That you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You've given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I remember hearing this Bible reading many times actually, but I remember one time in particular. I might have been about the age that maybe the older of our VBS kids are. Because I remember I was at Camp Hiawatha. Have any of you ever been to Camp Hiawatha? Yeah. That's one of our church camps. And it was at campfire time. It was campfire time. And it was dark out. And it was clear skies. So the stars were out. And the counselor said, okay, all of you leave the campfire and just move away from it. Lie down on your back and look up at the sky. Do you see the stars? And in your mind's eye, maybe you can see the stars right now. And then the counselors read the verse. Then the counselors read the verse that says this. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established. There's someone looking at creation and then asking the question, in all this beauty, in all this vastness, who am I? This little me, who am I? And then the answer, but you made us for a reason. You've created us to care. You've created us to care for all of creation, just like we're talking about at BBS this week. And there's so many ways that we've been learning how we can care for creation because there's so many ways, as we know, we don't take care of creation very well. We can talk about pollution in the water and the air. We can talk about using our, de our dependence upon and using fossil fuels, gasoline and oil and all that stuff. We know, we know that. But we hear that we were created to care for the animals. It says a, an interesting word there that you've given us, God's given us dominion over the earth. Dominion over the animals. Dominion, but we hear that word wrong. We often hear the word dominion, and we believe, okay, God says that we can do whatever we want to do with creation. We can squash it, we can abuse it, we can leave it dirty and polluted. That's not what dominion means, my friends. Dominion in the Bible means to care for, to protect, and to provide for. You and I have been created to care, to protect, and to provide for. Just as God cares for and provides for and protects us, we are called to do the same. And kids, anyone here under the age of 10, raise your hand. Anyone under the age of 10, raise your hand. Maybe we'll, it could be any uh, age. But I want you to listen to this. It says, out of the mouths of babes and infants. But I also want to say this, out of the mouths of preschool students, pre-K students, 
and out of the mouths of kindergartners, and out of the mouths of first and second graders, and third and fourth graders, out of the mouths of joyful junipers and wonderful willows, wonderful willows and outstanding oaks. sweet sycamores and outstanding oaks and marvelous, and marvelous maples mm -hmm. out of the oh yeah and the fabulous foresters the adult leaders too uh, you too out of your mouths can come something powerful what you say can make a difference in your families, in your church, in your communities, in your state, in your country. And God's called you to use your mouths and your hands and your bodies and your minds to make a difference and care for the world and animals and others and the planet and whatever else we can think of. So I want you to remember that this week. We're, we're going to sing a song, right?